details about the plans and why it took so long. Alexis. Naja, the Joe Davis Stadium hasn't been used in more than four years, and in that time, it has fallen into disrepair. Now, the city of Huntsville says some homeless people have caused a lot of damage here, but I spoke with one nearby business owner who says he cannot wait to see this area flourish again. The baseball wasn't being supported by the community, so I didn't actually want to see the city pouring more money into keeping a baseball team if the community wasn't supporting it. James Linderholm is the program director at Huntsville Gymnastics. In the 20 years he's lived here, he's had a front row seat to the rise and fall of Joe Davis Stadium. He says the city's new plan is the best use for the space. Do we have any? Yeah, I'm excited they're gonna, gonna refurbish it and put it back to use. It'll be nice to have activities going on there again. City Council agreed to pay Chapman Sisson Architect Firm a million dollars to design a Check. plan to renovate the stadium. The firm assessed the condition of the facility over the summer, and now the city hopes to turn it into a multi-sport complex for high school football, soccer, and lacrosse, all at a cost of $8 million. Now, we asked the city why it took so long to come up with a plan and if it will cost more money to renovate the stadium since it's in such disrepair. A spokesperson could only tell us several original ideas fell through, and facility experts wanted to be able to maximize the use of space. Linderholm says sometimes the best things take time. When families move into town, we're one of their first stops to call. They want, they've been doing activities with their children. They want to know what activities are available for their children here. Now, the city will wait for the architect's uh, report on electrical, engineering, and any structural changes. And after that, they will put out bids for construction. Reporting live at the Joe Davis Stadium, Alexis Scott, Way 31 News.